Hello everyone, we're playing Warframe and today we're looking at the twin Comax, how to build them. So we need to go to the dojo and purchase the Comac blueprints, two of them. Let's go to the chem lab. console there. Okay, so you can research the Comac here. There it is. So it's a rank 5 weapon. So I can uh, buy two of these uh, blueprints. Oh, I need some more cash. Okay, got some more cash. Buy a second one. The fifteen thousand credits each. And now we can go back to the ship, go to the foundry. Okay, so we can build the Comac. So we need a former and some plastids and thirty thousand credits. That takes 24 hours to build. Okay, got my pumpkin on because it's Halloween for me. So now I've built two of these Comax and I've got an extra former. Let's build the twin Comac. So that takes 12 hours. So it's 24 hours per Comac and 12 hours. So two and a half days to build the whole thing. Okay, let's collect it. Let's equip it at the arsenal station. It's a secondary weapon and then we can uh, upgrade. Looks pretty sweet. Big and stocky, <laughs> if that's your thing. So let's um, put on a damage mod to start with. Operator, Ordis wonders, what are you thinking about? I'm thinking about mods, Ordis. Okay, let's put Hornet Strike on there. Let's boost it up. Let's make it a 10 pointer. Forty extra damage that will do for now. All right, let's go and try this thing out and see what it does. So I'm going to go to Jupiter and Enki. It's level 16 to 18. We received intel that somebody vital to enemy operations is here. Find them and capture them. We'll put an end to this corpus greed. You can see how it slowly spins up speed as it goes. I'm already telling straight away that this uh, weapon is too slow. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is put a um, fire rate mod on here, we a maxed fire rate mod. Here. Track them down quickly. Definitely Damn needs it. faster speed. But the damage is okay. We fought with honor. Capture them quickly before they escape. Capture target. It's a bit like the comb, it sort of spins up slowly over time. Might have already 
taking him down. It's a bit of a bug when he's in the air. Until he lands, I guess. Yep, he's not taking any damage at all at the moment. So once he lands, we can take him. Here he is. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. Take the bug out. Definitely needs a fire rate mod. <laughs> Can't use it in this speed. But even with the Colm weapon, which is really good, um, it needs a fire rate mod because it's just too slow otherwise. Okay, up the top there. Like heavy activity ahead. He's heading for the exit. No, oh, no. <laughs> Got stomped off the platform. I can sort of see that coming in slow motion. I'm thinking I might need an ammo mutation mod on this as well. Amalgam technology! It's beautiful! Experience it! One death at a time. <laughs> Thanks, Hello. So I think the damage is okay, it's just um, a bit of speed will help. Okay, interesting. For a start, um, let's see what it does when it's fully maxed out. Okay, so I've maxed it now. Let's go and check out the mods. So I want to put on an Oregon Catalyst, which will boost my mod capacity up to 60. Okay. So I've got the Hornet Strike, which is uh, damage. I'm going to put some critical on here as well, critical chance. And critical damage. Now I've got the maxed out Gunslinger, which is fire rate. So I might also boost the slash, because it does mostly slash damage. Let's go an extra 60%. Okay, the Stinger gives more slash damage and status chance. So we can boost this one up. Operator, Ordis wonders, 
What are you thinking about? Okay, another 90% slash damage and status chance. All mods accounted for, Operator. I have not taken any. So I've got a polarized slot there. I'll put some deep freeze on there and I can use 8 points. Which makes it 4. So I'll just boost this deep freeze up to 8 points. There we go. Gives me a bit of cold as well. And that'll just slow the enemies down. So that's it fully modded. There's no particular build, just one I just chose then. So let's go and uh, see what it can do. So I'm going to go to Telesto on Saturn, 22 to 24. There is a large platoon of Grenier Marines here. Leave no one standing. Oh yeah, the fire rate's much better. Probably do with a reload speed booster as well. If you polarize the slots, you can fit a uh, reload speed booster on there too. Seems to be doing good damage now. See how this does against the Nox. Yep. Once all Noxy comes out to play, we can give it a try. See there. Anything sculpture. That's nice. That He's cutting through most one. of them so far. Okay, run out of ammo. I need to restock some ammo. Yeah, I think an uh, ammo mutation will probably work on this.
I've been doing the Krenland Void, that's why I've got the Zorus on. You can see my videos earlier on the Krenland Void. Just click on my uh, Lama icon down the bottom left. And uh, click on the videos and you'll be able to see the series on the Krenland Void. And also I've got a much earlier series on the um, Deadlock Protocol. Oh, here's Noxie. the twin Comex guys. Hope you liked it. Click like and subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.